Good morning from Semenyak. So I'm just across from Semenyak Square. I just finished a walk along Jalang Kayu Jati, showed you some cafes. And I'm going to walk along Jalang Kayu Aya, show you some of the restaurants. There's really good selection of restaurants along this street. Now this won't do it justice. Semenyak is a huge area. There's this street which is lined with restaurants. There is Jalang Petitingat. There is Jalang Raya. There is the Sunset Road. There's just a rabbit's warren of little laneways lined with restaurants, lined with boutique clothing stores, cafes, bars, you name it, they have it. So I highly recommend just get on your Shanks pony, go for a wander, you cannot go wrong. Now I just ended the last video showing you down. I highly recommend Revolver Cafe, so that's just located down that laneway there very good coffee breakfast lunch and dinner now I think this is one of the best restaurants in Semenyak so Mykonos Greek restaurant it has been there a squillion years I had dinner there probably seven years ago really good owned by an old Greek chap sits in the corner drinking his ouzo when I left, I said, I will see you later. And he said, yep, I will be here. So I think he's been there 20 years or more. Now this was Kuni's, Japanese restaurant. I had eaten there a few years ago. Really good Japanese. Now they have closed at this location and they have opened up at the Oberoi. The Oberoi is a very expensive beachfront resort. I might actually try and get it for dinner in today. Chandi's been there a long pan Asian kitchen and bar. So that's been there a squillion years and they are open. Day spa, 75,000 for a full body massage. Foot massage, 70,000. What's that, about six bucks Australian for a foot massage. A bit over six bucks for a one hour body massage. Everywhere you go, there are mini marts, quickie marts, Shiva marts. So this one is open 24 hours a day. So you can buy beer at the mini marts or the quickie marts. All right, Cafe Bali. That's been there a long, long time. All right, just across the road, Pasha Hotel. Ooh, Pasha. So you get a room in there for one million per night. It's about 94 Australian dollars per night. So much cheaper. So from here, it probably takes you, depends how fast you walk, five to 10 minutes to walk down to the beach. No, Buttick, nice old colonial style building. It's not open now, it looks like lunch and dinner. Ginger Moon's been there a long time. Modern Asian restaurant. Up there, Italian job. There's a stack of Italian restaurants throughout all of Bali. Pizza, not so good. Something about pizza dough and bread is not very successful in Indonesia. I don't know if it is the humidity. Any bakers out there, tell me why is bread not so good in Indonesia? Now, Ananda Resort. I did not look up the prices, but I will post the prices for Ananda. They look like they are closed, so I will not be posting any prices. All right, tattoo studio. I will take a guess at who owns that. Maybe Mr. Bikey. Beatrix Spa, closed. Another restaurant, closed. So you'll see the casualties of the pandemic. A lot of businesses have closed. Circle K. Another convenience store. Can't go far without crossing paths with a convenience store. Thai Spice has closed. Closed for business. Alright, what is that? Ice Semenyak. I will look that one up. Looks like a nice modern, probably a four star. What is that? I-Z-E, Ice. I'll look up the prices, post that below. 
Alright, Shisha. The Shisha is really popular. Salazon is not open. Ultimo is a fine dining restaurant. I cannot remember. I think I've been there. I think I either have been or I've watched a video, but it seems very familiar to me. You'll see this road goes probably a kilometre. And you'll see it's just lined. So as you get on your Shanks pony, walk up and down here, you will find something. Uluwatu homemade Balinese lace. It's a chain of those. There's one in Kuda. There's one in Sonur. I think there's one in Ubud. My Balinese love the camera. And that construction. Kimberley Spa. No prices. But I would guess it's upwards of 70k to 100k for a massage. You'll see. So, for sale. This one is pretty much demolished. This is a construction site. I don't know what was there before. That one is totally cleared out. Oh, I'm sure they will build something cool. Look, just a flat piece of land. More here, closed. No, thank you. All right, closed, shop for rent. All right, House of Kana. You can see plenty of places devastated by the pandemic. So, if you're planning, don't just plan, pull your finger out, get to Bali. All right, they need the money, the burger lab. All right, make your own burger. Shit, I hope they pay you to make your own burger. I would prefer to pay a chef to make it. All right, I'm not gonna walk too much further. You'll see there is lots open and a lot's closed. So as I said, I'm not gonna do Seminyak justice in such a big, big area. So it gives you an indication everywhere you go, there are restaurants to choose from. So something for everyone. There are cheap restaurants, there are mega expensive restaurants. So whatever floats your boat. All right, Berlin Kebab. Sorry, we're closed. What does that say? I don't know, it's in Indonesian. I would suggest that is an eviction notice in Indonesian. All right, as I'll end the video here, it's just a little taste of Semenyak. Okay, Johnny Rockets. All right, I'm not gonna end the video. One last place for good American burgers. Now, I've never eaten at Johnny Rockets. I know they are popular in America. There used to be a Johnny Rockets in Kuta, down on the shopping mall next to the beach. I believe that's open. I saw it on Google Maps. All right, so that is enough. Gives you a little taste for Seminac. So get your ass here. I'm not going to show you anymore because it's up to you to come and explore. Bring your cash. Share your cash. The Balinese people need it. So thank you for watching. I've got a few more coming from Seminac. So happy travels.